Hey guys, so I have to talk to you guys about something, but welcome back to Dollsmas. <laughs> so today's gonna be the last day of Dollsmas. I'm cutting it short by five days. I'm sorry, I know, uh, let me explain. <laughs> I'm gonna continue doing my advent calendar videos with Barbara because we still have a few days left on that. And I will be doing a Christmas haul on the 25th. I really just want to spend this week with family and not have to worry about like filming and editing and all that jazz. So I'm cutting it at 20 days. I did it. I mean, I, I'm happier than I was last year. Maybe next year I could do 20 because I'm hoping by next year I'll have like a proper setup and an actual camera and a laptop to actually film my videos and shit because I film everything and edit everything on my phone so I can't just like film in advance so sorry about that but I hope you guys have enjoyed it it really makes me so happy that you guys were watching along with me I don't know I'm just happy <laughs> but today we're looking at Gwen and the Mermaids Mermaids Ocean Cruiser that I got sent by MGA I bought her <laughs> but yeah let me roll my intro and we can look into these are you ready to jingle your bells? Hi. So you may be wondering, how does a mermaid drive a car? Good question. Mermaids, mermaids logic has never made sense and it never will. This makes no sense to me. And I remember when I found out about it, I was like, a car? Brilliant. I mean, the dolls can't even sit, so I don't know how that's gonna happen, but you work. But we're also looking at Gwen. She's the last one I needed from the Winter Waves collection, and now I have all the Mermaids Mermaids dolls that have come out this year. is isn't a lot, but like, I'm happy with them. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna start looking at both of these. So let's move this car out of the way and look at Gwen. Okay guys, so this is Gwen. She is really, really pretty. I thought she was gonna be my favorite from the beginning, but she really isn't. I think my favorite is Kashiko. I think she really turned out amazing. She's pretty though as well. I don't know. I can't really pick a favorite from this line but this is the best mermaids line and i will stand by this i think it's so cool i think the gimmick's actually really cool and i like to pop off their tails yes you can do that it just takes a little force <laughs> and i just play with the tail like this sometimes i don't know but if i'm correct gwen was supposed to have brown eyes but her doll has blue eyes so i don't know what happened there and i thought anyways there is gwen in the middle as you can see there's an icy glacier behind her and she's in a glittery sea there's her promo picture with mermaids mermaids color change winter wave and it says that their tails are glitter filled and their fins change color <laughs> if i flip it to the back of the box you can see there is some really gorgeous photos of Gwen. She looks like a glamorous Hollywood star and I just love her. I think she is really pretty. And there is all the other girls she can get. We have done a review on Harmonique and the other three were in yesterday's video so you should watch that because you know I love mermaids and I really want them not to cancel the line. <laughs> and on the bottom it says winter waves across a shimmering seas where the sand turns to glitter the winter waves crash to reveal new friends with a fabulous sparkle. And if you're looking for Gwen here is her barcode. But now we looked at Gwen let's look at the really obnoxious car. So here is the car. This is currently on sale as well. I think it's $20 right now at Target, which I thought was pretty cool, I guess. This is something very rainbow high because they love clear acrylic sh But thank you, MJ, for sending me this, by the way. Basically, the car color changes and you can use it as a kind of color chain station. Like, I think this part just like comes off and you can just pour the water into the car. So I'm not sure how this is going to be like for like, you know, mold. <laughs> That's one thing about mermaids I've always been like curious about is like the consideration of mold. They are kind of bath toys, even though they don't look like it but yeah clear acrylic car it looks really interesting especially because these girlies cannot sit so i don't know how she's sitting in this picture plus some of their fins are really bulky like christabella's i don't think she would fit in this car. but it says there are glitter seat belts a heart-shaped steering wheel and there is even trunk space and here's what the car looks like before its color change and after and there's a really pretty picture of chanel and there is chanel and kashiko driving it and all that jazz and if you're looking for this clear mermaid car here is its barcode anyways guys i'm now going to free this car and Gwen out of their boxes and we can take a look at them. It's going to be so obnoxious, but you know, that's mermaids for you. So BRB. Okay guys, so Gwen and her car are out of the box. She just dropped her purse, <laughs> but we're first going to look at Gwen. So I'm going to show you everything that she came with because these dolls do come with quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> So first things first, I guess since it dropped, she comes with this cute little fuzzy purse. It is flocked with pink flocking and there is a cute little iridescent blue bow and she has a pearl strap. Next, she has her own accessory tray which has some makeup products in it and her little pink cup and even some sunglasses that are blue that have some white pearling at the edges and a very old looking phone. I don't know why they all have very old looking phones. She of course comes with a Winter Waves doll stand. There's also extra clips in the back just in case she's wearing a more bulkier outfit. And lastly, she comes with this really cute 
white fur coat. So now that we looked at all of her accessories, it's time to look at Gwen and she looks so sweaty. I, I can't. <laughs> Nonetheless, she is really pretty. So let's start looking at her. Gwen has a tan skin tone, yellow blonde hair. It kind of looks like butter in a way, you know? And it is styled in a bunch of little twists. It is really crunchy, like probably the crunchiest doll I've ever had. There's also these cute little braided bits in the front. And she even has a fishtail braid, almost like a headband on her head. Now she has these really stark blue eyes, brown eyebrows, and a really vibrant, almost reddish pink lipstick that's very glossy. I do kind of wish she did have the brown eyes because I think they would have suited her a little better. As for her earrings, there are these little silver hoops that have two little dangling pink gems. She also is wearing this transparent white glittery necklace that's a bunch of pearls. For her outfit, she is wearing these really cute little gloves, some fluffy bits at the ends. Like I said, this doll is like Christmas. Like she's a Christmas mermaid and they are removable. As for her dress, it is a really pretty fabric that is very iridescent. It has a little bit of fur at the ends as well. And it all Velcros in the back. If we look at her tail, it is mainly clear and transparent so you can see her glitter, but she also has a silver glitter top and it has some wrapping in a darker silver and it kind of just blends down. As for her fin, it looks interesting. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's not as heavy as Christabella's. It kind of looks like a bunch of fabric or tulle kind of just wrapping around. It is completely glittery and silver, but she is really pretty. I think she looks really good. I want to know your thoughts on her down below. But now guys, we're going to look at the car. So here's the ocean cruiser. These are the only accessories it came with, which is two packets of glitter, which I'll show you what it's used for after. But as I mentioned earlier, it is pretty much a completely clear car. It's in a cruiser style, which is really, really cool. It has some little flames right here that will be colorful once you reveal it in some cold water, along with the front as well. The wheels have a bit of chrome on them and they do spin, but the real wheels are actually down here. The seats inside are lined with pink and they say M for mermaids on the top and they actually have elastic seat belts that are very shiny. As for the back, it has a license plate that has a chain like going around it and it says bubbles is their license number and there is some chrome right here as well. And this does open because it is a trunk for storage. You actually could put little things in there and close it up. Steering wheel is also chrome and it is a heart that looks like a chain and it actually does turn. Now the gimmick is you were supposed to lift this lid off and then you're supposed to strap in your mermaid's doll and just pour the water on her. It's not supposed to be like a pool because it does have drainage right there. So I'm not going to be doing that with the car because I don't really think I need to, but I definitely will try the color change in my freezer. So I'm going to just take this part and take it into the freezer. Even though this bit does change colors too, I don't think we need to see it completely. <laughs> I'm also going to put Gwen in the freezer too, just so you guys know. And this just snaps on. One other thing that this car does is on the sides right here, these little bits come off, which exposes this entire front panel right here. And you're supposed to fill this with water and one packet of glitter per side and add one drop of dish soap to it. So it acts like a little snow globe on the side of the car. So I actually am going to try that right now. So let's get my water bottle and we're just going to fill it up. I'm not sure how much water is necessary, but we are going to try it Anyways, I think that's good. <laughs> then here is what the glitter looks like. It's just a bunch of stars and they're really, really shiny. So I'm gonna add that now to one side. I did spill a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm now gonna add one drop of dish soap to it because it says to. And then I'm just gonna put the cap right back on. And I'm just gonna go back and forth and wait till it starts looking like a snow globe. But as you can see, as you roll it back and forth, it kind of looks like just a wave. It is spilling out of the side, so be careful if you're using this as a toy. I don't think you can really store it like this. It's just gonna not work out. Oh no, it's spilling. <laughs> so it did spill. Okay, I love that. That was a mess. <laughs> the gimmick's there, the thought's there, but it wasn't really, you know, done properly. So we're never gonna do that again. <laughs> I will keep this packet of glitter though because it is really cute. I'm now gonna just go do the color change feature with Gwen in the car's hood and can see how that looks. So BRB. And after 10 minutes in the refrigerator, Gwen's tail turns purple and pink on the bottom. And this is what the color change car turns to. It's very blue and pink and it looks really cute. No, it'll be on this side as well. So now I'm gonna put Gwen in the car and we can end this review with my final thoughts. Okay guys, so Gwen is in the car. For whatever reason, I could not get the seatbelt to like open like a normal one usually does. So I just had to kind of slit her under it. Um, Might've done that wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is the end of the 
this review is very wet. It was very glittery and I did not like it. <laughs> Gwen is an icon, a legend, a moment. I think you should get her. She is really pretty. And if she's on a sale, even better. Car, you could probably skip one because I just think the overall idea is cool, but like the execution was not done properly. But if you're into the car of dolls, then this would be pretty cool to add to your collection, I guess. Once again, mermaids dolls, they can't sit. She's she's struggling. You see that, right? <laughs> but anyways, guys, if this is your first time watching my video, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I'd love you to join the channel. Thank you so much for watching Dolls Most with me. I will see you very soon on the 25th of my haul for Christmas. If I have one, even if I don't, I will. We'll see. If you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at ZombieXCorn as well. And guys, make sure you enter my holiday Dracula giveaway. It's in the Sweet Screams video. All you have to do is watch that video and find out the rules. And that ends on the 23rd. So you have a few days to enter. So good luck there as well. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. But for now, bye.